You know what I did not do yet so far? I never officially introduced y'all. This is like the first time we've, we've all been here together. But you know what I mean? Where it's like, it's this the first time all three of us have been together, really. So yeah, we're here on day three at San Diego Comic-Con. For the first time, I get to introduce my people, Carlson. Hi. And Sam. Editing this shit is gonna take fucking weeks. Carlton, Sam, two of the greatest people to ever exist. And damn it, we're gonna have a blast here at San Diego Comic Con 2024. Hello folks, Bottom Nerd here, day three. I think we've ran in, oh no, they're doing a Kennedy. Uh, Kennedy? Yeah, sorry for the randomness, but uh, we're here, San Diego Comic Con, day number three, and we've ran into a political rally. Kennedy, of all people, I'd still say yay on, I think Kennedy's a good dude. He's no Trump, but he's a good, okay, the honking though is a little much. <laughs> Kinda starting to piss me off now. <laughs> Hey, look who decided to show up today. Hey! It's Carlton. People remember you from hopefully the last few years. I, I figured I'd grace you with my presence. I mean, it's a beautiful, beautiful fucking sight. <laughs> For one thing and one thing only, it just tells all those haters, Hey, not a racist. I'm more of a Trump guy, sorry. Yeah. Actually, no, I'm not sorry. Yeah, it just is kind of there. It's not as strong in this area, interestingly enough, but... I could imagine the fecal matter as well. And the rats. And the rats. They're probably cleaner, though. So yeah, folks, it's day number three here. We're just talking about fecal matter and piss here at San Diego Comic-Con with the fragrance of nature. With your truly spot of nerd here. San Diego Comic Con 2024. Let's get this day started. I've decided to sport the Padre Super Duper Neon Light Green and Pink shirt today. If you're lucky enough, later I'm gonna bust out the Trump shirt in case it's a little too warm. But either way, uh, it'll be interesting to see uh, what kind of vibes we get when people see a Trump supporter here in San Diego, California, which we've already seen actually here at the convention if you've watched our earlier days. That man was my hero. So we're talking really quickly about the Olympics that for whatever reason they're playing on this big giant screen over here. And how France, if you watch some of the opening ceremony clips, there are actual adults with their physical scrotums hanging out on live television, surrounded by children. And what I was gonna say is, they made LeBron captain of the US team? <laughs> are you kidding me? The US team, LeBron? I'm like, are you serious? The man that literally hates everything about this country? Seriously, like sometimes you gotta think, these people are on crack. It's gonna be. It's gonna be a crazy ass day because it's Saturday. Ooh, see, America, bitches. Be proud of this, America. You proud to be American, Sam? Mm -hmm. Are you an American citizen? Fuck yeah. Born in California. I'm working on it. Getting my dual citizenship. Even though my people always are... Always room for improvement. Always room for improvement. My people are dumb as hell, but like... Gotta show them love. Carlton got look at little toys. Show the show the camera what you oh, got. Look what I got. I got a scarab and I got a little bullet. Thanks to these kind of people right here. Also, it's a screw on pen. Yeah, might want to be careful taking that through the airport, but. Oh, no, yeah, you're right. But I'm 
But you're driving, so you're good. You can already tell. Saturday. Superior amount of cosplayers, but uh, also a superior amount of people. I would love to learn the amount of money that is flowing through this place right now. We were also talking about it yesterday, and this is really gross to think about. How many people are using the toilet right now? I've been to a many bathrooms here, and we talk a lot about bathrooms here at Comic-Con, but yesterday I was thinking to myself, there's a lot of pee and a lot of poo right here, right now, going on in San Diego. And I'm not just talking about the outside, because let's be honest, San Diego, you smell like piss. That's a broken record moment that will stay forever, because San Diego, you've got human excrement everywhere. But it's pretty outside. This is hilarious, dude. Oh my god. Beautiful. I love this. I have a regime over here. Clap. We haven't even been here for less than 20 minutes and I've already found one. Let's see if I can get him in the shot. Right there. I did a, I'm doing really good right now with uh, Finding Waldo. They will always lose, because I will always find you fuckers. I will always. Spot of Nerd will always find you. Now. I promised myself I would at least take a look at the Star Wars booth, even though Star Wars is fucking dead. Like, just walking around this thing, you just kind of, you feel gross. Like, you really do, you just, you feel fucking gross here. Just how far, just how far Star Wars has fallen. You look incredible. Oh, thank you, thank you. Yeah, and again, I don't know if you all can see behind me. I am literally right now standing inside the Star Wars exhibit. And there ain't nobody fucking here. Like, it is crazy busy out front. I'm just telling the crowds right now. It is crazy busy. And you'll notice one thing. Not a fucking soul in here. Yeah, I know. You know why? Because fucking Star Wars sucks right now. Spent $4 billion to bury it. The latest Acolyte show cost $180 million. And not a single... Maybe you get a dozen people in here right now out of 100,000 outside there. Nobody cares. Disney, stop fucking this up. Go classy. So Lego decided to do a, uh, a white Lego Darth Vader. Not really sure about that. Not really sure what you're going for there Disney or Lego it's kind of weird I'm just thinking to myself I'm like they did a white Lego Darth Vader kind of makes you feel weird <laughs> oh, alien Romulus again another one of those I am hesitantly excited for not because it's another alien film, but because it actually does look pretty good. Now, will it be just another Deadpool Wolverine? Nobody knows, but it's coming out in literally a week. I think it was August 2nd. So, if you know me, you know I will be going to watch that quite quickly, and I will be doing a review. There is so much content, people, that is going to be coming out from yours truly. If you're not subscribed yet, you are just missing out on so, so much awesome. So please do it. And let me know what your thoughts are about Alien Romulus.
Oh. That was so so much trash that I. Winter Soldier and uh, Falcon and Winter Falcon Soldier. Versus, yeah, seriously. First Disney. of all, Tony wouldn't have provided for all for everybody. Nope. Nope. Second of all, Pepper wouldn't have provided for everybody. Nope. Third of all, wouldn't the government of the United States just do anything anybody who saved the fucking universe percent. want? And again, it was another one of those shows that had a budget of $300 million that looked like it came out of 1998. Yeah, but you know what they wanted to say? Oh, black man can't get a loan? Disney, <laughs> stop Man-Man, it. And who's barely in the Avengers long enough, wrote a book and made millions of dollars. It made millions of bucks. Obviously, we've been talking about this all con, but again... It's absolute trash, I think, to see something picture. Captain America, is, is this is this is literally going to be a copy paste of Winter Soldier. Mark my words, spot of nerd, bleh, spot of nerd, right here, right now. It is going to be copy paste Winter Soldier. Yeah. Spoiler alert! If you haven't, spoiler alert! If you haven't seen uh, Deadpool Wolverine, you've got Batty number one. Actually, I guess this is Batty number one, TVA guy. Batty number two, right here, and they both suck. They're terrible. Don't waste your money. Say that again. Can you remind us who that, who they were? Because we've had, we've seen a lot of them. Oh, it's from the anime One Piece. One Piece, okay. And they're they're mostly dressed like the live action versions. I was gonna say, is that oh, the one? Oh no, that that's ne- not true. They actually are dressed like the like the anime version. Is that the one that Netflix just did? What was it? Netflix that did the live action. Next, Netflix did the live action, and, and that's where and it did actually it. get praise for it, right? Oh hell yeah! It was one of those they finally well, didn't like, screw can up. Can I get a shot of the two of you? Yeah. Heck to the yeah. Oh, to this looks continue. fantastic. Okay. No, this looks fantastic. So yes, One Piece. It's awesome. Worth watching. Yeah, but the anime you have to you have to prepare for many years of your life because it's eleven. They're at eleven hundred episodes. Fuck they're only half an me. hour, but um, and they go fast. That's amazing, though. I'm willing to give it a shot. What's the cliff notes? The story. This pirate. This is it's a world full of pirates. Not our world. A different world. One pirate basically circumvented the entire globe. It's really hard to do that. Yeah. And so he becomes the king of the pirates. Well, he gets killed, and he challenges everyone at the execution, go out and find my treasure. And so it leads to the Age of Pirates, so everybody wants to try to find Gold, Gold Roger's treasure. That and sounds so pretty badass, actually. There's this little kid named Luffy, who is just amongst the people who wants to find the treasure, and just, he's a super nice guy. He, well, people think he's an ass, but he's very loyal, and uh, he gets this crew, and just you follow his adventures, basically. I like that. No, it sounds badass. It's, it's really good. Now, being day three, we have yet to see a panel, and there are many reasons for that. I'm too old. We're all too old to kind of wait in line for hours at a time. But we are currently going to go try over the Hilton there because The Rookie, starring one of my most favorite actors of all time, Nathan Fillion, supposedly The Rookie is going to have a panel there in their Indigo Ballroom at 145 and we're gonna try and go see it if it's too much we're not gonna waste your time but if i can i'll get in there and we'll film a little bit and show you the wonderfulness of panels we're trying to find uh if you guys remember last year we also found a very good churro place person thing but i don't see yeah let's go back sure yeah oh snap not only one but two waldos that's a double whammy right there. But yeah, California, who would have thought y'all would support the one and only? I don't care what anybody says, there is no chance in hell he does not win in November. If it's done the right way, let's be honest, it's well, not going to be done the right way. About what's her name, dude. I mean, obviously, Dem- Dem's told yeah, yeah. Dude, they're told. Isn't it amazing democracy chose her, the one person that received absolutely no votes whatsoever? Right. The thing is, like, they can blame her if she, if she loses, and then the guy they really want can come in and force Oh, years. absolutely. And that will be, I'm going to guess, Newsom or Whitmer. Yeah, although that guy Shapiro out of, uh, where is he, Pennsylvania? I don't know where Pat Shapiro is. And that's going to be the official, if that happens, the official destruction of this country. <laughs>
Oh, yeah. Like, why do we keep repeating history? Because we're dumb fucks. <laughs> Absolute dumb fucks. As we make our way to the Hilton Bayfront, and being the third day here at Comic-Con, it is, you make time to reflect. And I do have to say, this was truly, from the bottom of my heart, one of the best conventions I've ever been to. And it all comes down to the people that I met. Amazing cosplayers, amazing people. I'm gonna forget his name and I apologize, but I'll definitely be putting him in the credits. Obviously the MAGA guy who was not afraid to show just how patriotic he really was in relation to, you know what? Love who you love, support who you love. That's what it's all about. It's absolutely amazing. Every piece of it couldn't have been better. And I want to thank everybody so, so much. All of you that are watching and subscribing and supporting. Haters, the whole nine yards. Absolutely amazing. So keep on rolling. We're still got, we still got so much more to do and so much more to show you. So let's keep going. How many steps have you walked today, Carl? Let's find out. Yeah, I got this completely wrong, aren't I? You're recording. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Today's my first freaking day, dude. It's okay. The dude just works for the fruit stand, but it's okay. I've done only 4,000. Is that good? 1.79 miles. That's good, right? That's all right. What's your ass? Uh, it should be the same. 2.21. Wait, how did you do how are more? You, how are you walking more? I don't stop for pictures every five seconds. Yeah, that's true. Oh, get off me, bro. All right, so I need to know from the people watching this, should I buy dark gray lightsabers? All signs point to yes. Yes. But they're $1,200. You already have lots of turtles. All signs point to yes. Uh, don't make the rules, man. Uh, You're spending less money don't make for the rules, man. you technically already have lots of. I'm just thinking, like, because there's so much. Th I look at the people that know me who follow this know my truck. $1,500, I could put a lot of shit into my truck. You know, like a grill, fucking tie, new tires, a lift. Or I could buy a Ray dark side lightsaber that splits into two. It's heavy, it's made of real metal. It comes with a stand. Apparently, he said it was on sale. It's originally, it's originally $1,600, so. I mean, worst case scenario, I could just flip it online. You know, actually, that's valid. Maybe I'll look online, see what the, see what price it was. Any chance you guys remember what the company was? Ooh, I took a picture. All right, stay tuned. We will keep you guys posted. I'm gonna go look at my phone right now and see what company it was and see. Yeah, just just keep watching. Dude, I gotta ask, if you don't mind me being on video, what is this made of? This is made of uh, multiple materials. I got some styrofoam, uh, cardboard cut out to make it hollow just so it's light enough. I was gonna say, this can, otherwise it's gonna be heavy as shit. I got a PVC handle that goes from here to here. It was bolted in, and then the rest of this is a Bondo, a real thin Bondo. Man. Dude, I love the uniqueness of it. You got a handle people can follow you anywhere? Uh, the handle is Jerry33891 on Instagram. It's my art page. It's very cool, man. Stuff. I'll, show, I'll throw it out there. Appreciate it. Right. 
I do a very amateur channel, but um, people follow you anywhere? Yeah, yeah um, they can follow me at Abraham underscore L123 on Beautiful. Instagram. And then how about yourself? And I'm Kels H, K E L S H. Incredible. Look at what you guys did. Awesome. Absolutely. Awesome. Thank you all. Thank you so Thank much. You. Because I'm five years old, don't forget to drink your milk. <laughs> it's a good source of calcium. Because I care about my friends, Carlton always loves his Mrs. Fields Dude, they have auntie. and Auntie Anne's pretzels. So that's just how great I am, ladies. For those that are listening right now, that are watching on YouTube or Rumble, preferably. But uh, yeah, I have the car I spot of nerd, third day here. It is incredible. I am exhausted. A lot of great people that you will see throughout this entire day here super glad that we got to see Carlton today he was busy obviously with Scott that you got to meet very briefly earlier and yeah we were not able to do the panel the rookie panel it, it, I think we're just past that phase panels are great but I think it's just unless you can walk right up and go right in which is damn near impossible I don't think it's really we're just we're, we're over it you know to those that can do it mad respect but for me for others my crew uh it's just something we don't do anymore i think it's it takes too much time out of your con waiting in line and plus the fact now with all this technology odds are you can probably watch it later on on youtube or rumble and yeah that's much better than waiting six hours for a 45 minute panel that you'll likely have to sit in the back and not see anything at all except see it on a screen anyway let me know what you think. Do you go to the panels? Is it really that much worth it to go and see them in person? Tell me your thoughts in the comments, just for curiosity. Sam, day three, pros and cons so far, no pun intended. I like just walking around. I can't say there's a con. No, exactly. I mean, my feet hurt. But... Yeah, I say everything hurts right now, <laughs> but like, I don't want to go. I don't want to go home. I really, really don't want to go home. Not just because of Seattle. I mean, that's a big part of it, but. Uh, what are the, what's the best thing you've seen this year? And maybe the worst thing you've seen this year? Worst thing? The crowds on the first day were bad. That was pretty fucked up. Thursday, holy shit. If you were here Thursday, good God. Best thing, I mean, it's always the same best thing for me. It's just seeing people be nerdy and enjoy it. Come together, yeah. talk. I think the best thing for me was meeting MAGA guy, getting an interview MAGA guy, getting more confidence to talk to people. And Nerd Roddick. Yes, oh my God, we got to meet Nerd Roddick. That to me was like, I was very fortunate. I've said this on this channel before. I was very fortunate to meet Stan Lee. He's like number two. Garrett, I think his name's Garrett, right? Probably, I just call him Nerd Erotic. That was incredible. Huge thanks to Carlton, who's probably taking a poo right now because he had to go to the bathroom. Huge thanks to him for uh, getting me that ticket to meet him. It was awesome. Super, super awesome. So you know how, and you can see it with other cosplayers, you know how there's just people that have their bare asses out? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Like, you know, some ladies? Mm -hmm. I think about this convention center, where they're sitting, and like, the germs, like, obviously I'm a germaphobe, but like, imagine what is on, and now, let's go into the future, let's get really inappropriate here for a moment. I'm with you, I'm still now, with you. let's imagine her boyfriend and her get back to the hotel room, and want to have a little fun, right? Mm -hmm. I'm talking just fun, nothing more than a little fun. Mm -hmm. That man is probably going to be having some of the most 
nastiest things, and I'm not even talking about that that down there. I'm talking about whatever she sat in during that day. What are your thoughts? This is not stuff I think about. <laughs> I, I, I wouldn't even think about it. So I'm just fucked. Yeah. Okay, just wanted to make sure. <laughs> in we go. <laughs> Look at that, look at that. That is so amazing. Oh, oh dude. Oh, thank you, bro. Can I have this? Yeah, sure. Oh, I love you. You are amazing. This is funny on so many levels, just so you know. Do you got a handle people can follow you on? Yeah, right here, man. So, Mortal oh. Light GB. Hey. I will make sure I put we'll this make on sure. there. Scan there on there. I will make sure I put it on there. Right dude, amazing, man. Thank amazing. So, yeah, okay. Walter White actually has blue meth. Is it, was it meth? Yeah. It yeah, was yeah. meth, yeah. Dude, and then, the, let me see the dollar again. The years that he was popular, they were giving it out. They were giving out bags of that. So, he's got his own money with his face on it. This is amazing. Like, his truly. His site's on there, too. What's it? What is, uh, it's at Walter White GB. G for George, B for Barry. That's amazing. Absolutely amazing. That dude deserves. Wait, where's my drugs? <gasps> we forgot. Don't, don't. We, we just dropped our coke. Our crack, our meth, whatever it is. Meth. P.S. I would never advocate to do drugs. Drugs are bad. Can you just do something half hour Shut up. <laughs> okay, drugs are bad unless they are prescribed to you. But the ones that they're like recommended, they're just recommendations. Yeah. Spot of nerd. You should watch my review on that if you are uh, new to this. It's a shitty fucking movie. Wait, which what? Fury Road is honestly one of the, probably the greatest films of all time. But uh, Furiosa is probably one of the worst films ever made. Fucking wall those. Fucking found all you motherfuckers. All right, people, I did decide to buy something. It's in a very, uh, it's in a very large bag that I will show you guys later, but it was something I saw that I was super, super excited for and reasonably priced too. Fuck, that's loud. So I will show you guys later what I bought. Wink, wink, it's pretty fucking awesome. Can you explain the rules again? Okay, so. Just Cliff Notes? Oh, Cliff Notes version. You buy one, and you're like, wait, this one has to have another one. So then you buy another one in six. Then, where they really get you is, since you have to pre order it and it doesn't arrive for two years, you can promptly forget about it. And so Hence like why I have six sets of the Ninja Turtles. And you end up buying extras. And I literally bought, oh, spoiler, I bought another fucking set of turtles. <laughs> <laughs> That's how they get you. That's how they do it. It's all right, I could die tomorrow. We're, we'll be fine. And that, folks, is going to do it for day number three here at San Diego Comic-Con 2024 with your truly spot of nerd. I appreciate every single one of you that has watched, supported, all the goody stuff thingies that you know what the hell to do. I would love you all so, so much if you could throw me the subscribes, the likes, the comments, the follows. So that way, you can see things like this. It's great to see you guys. 
more and more and more. And even this, more and more and more. Ooh, this one's actually even pretty cool too. We only have one final day left. It's very sad. It's very, very sad. But one more final day, folks, of absolute joy in heaven before we go back to hell, or as I like to call Washington. I sincerely appreciate every single one of you for watching. Until tomorrow, folks, day number four or day number five, depending on what we uh, decide to do with this edit. Until then, folks. We will see you guys tomorrow. Before we go, we have a scavenger hunt. We need to find, what the hell is that? I keep forgetting what the show's called. One Piece, as the, apparently Carlton found a hat and we need it. And I had zero idea about it, but it's okay. I'll just get murdered in the comments. Yeah, no Dory. There's plenty of hate that I receive on this channel, so it's fine. So we'll go try to. This will be a good, good end credits for day three as we try to find a, uh, a hat. You better wear that shit tomorrow if we do. You better wear it. I'm gonna make him wear it. All right. Next tip on the uh, treasure hunt right here. <laughs> one family that they can't speak English. <laughs> They're looking at us going like, why are these people stopping us? Why, are <laughs> why, is there, why is there a strange black man stopping me in the middle of nowhere? I feel like I'm about to be... <laughs> oh man, wait, 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 no, no. There's so many things I could say right now that I would love to put on this channel, but I would be on, I would be fired beyond like a second. That's a rumble thing, yeah. Update, I found the hat, but we cannot get to it. Because fuck me, Butcher, by the way, is the only thing worthy of watching the boys right now. Ooh, that's a nice picture of Cobra Kai, actually, too. Check this out, right here. Cobra Kai never says die, or no, that's not the word. There's a phrase. So we found the hat. Time to try it on. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, come on. Come on, you have to. You could so add one. Uh, oh wait, you mean I could so add Somebody one. could add, so. yeah, like so could get one, yeah. I <laughs> see, it took me a minute, yeah. I think you look amazing. Hey, worst case scenario, you it's a decoration in your home. Oh, I will. Don't worry, I've got you on camera. Something interesting is happening right now. I'm starting to realize there are quite a few Barbies. It's almost like it's a repeat of last year when we had Waldo versus Barbie. Maybe there's more to come. I don't know. You'll just have to watch and find out.